Today I'm going to be talking about Sigma's three contemporary lenses. These three prime lenses basically saved the Canon M50. A lot of people that have the Canon M50 now use it for a lot of creative content. At, at least if you're like me, then that's what you use it for. But when I got the Canon M50, it came with the Canon's uh, kit lens, which is the 15 to 45 millimeter, which honestly, you're not gonna use for more than you know a week or two before you get tired of it because it's not the best it doesn't give you the, that creamy bokeh effect that a lot of people want I decided to go get a 22 millimeter which is the lens that I'm using to shoot uh, right now that lens is not bad to be honest with you it's one of the best ones it's lightweight it balances on a lot of gimbals it's easy for you to just bring it around you know run and gun kind of stuff but the only problem with that is it's also not the best in low light conditions because it's only an f 2.0 Sigma basically really least three lenses and in my opinion not even just my opinion honestly th these lenses save the Canon M50 I've got the 22 millimeters on right now and I'm going to talk about these three lenses which are right here right now when I talk about each of them I will switch them out and you guys can see what they look like right off the spot I'm also going to be doing an outdoor test of each lens you know picture and video so you guys can kind of see what they look like depending on what you're going to be using them for if this kind of stuff interests you stick around for this video and let's get right to it y'all I'm going to be talking about my favorite one which is going to be the first one the 16 millimeter f1.4 prime lens this lens is basically the heaviest lens amongst uh, the three of them so beware about that it's not the best you know when you're balancing it if you're going if you're going to be using a lightweight gimbal like for example the DJI Ronin SC and this one costed about 400 American dollars at the time of this video so if you're going to be picking this up make sure to check down in the description below I'm going to switch out the 22 millimeter for the 60 millimeter right now so you, you guys can see what this lens looks like and then I'm going to talk about my suggested uses and recommendations for this lens okay so I've got the 16 millimeter f1 1.4 on right now and like I said these lenses basically saved the Canon M50 they're all f 1.4 so they have a low aperture which makes them really good in low light conditions and have you know a really nice autofocus for like videos if that's what you're going to be using them for you know like for example I use them for Instagram I use them for a lot of fitness videos on YouTube on my other channel if you haven't checked that out and you're interested in fitness make sure you check out my other YouTube channel my suggested uses for this lens will be for more for you know landscape photography street photography you know stuff like that where you're trying to get a lot of uh, details in your frame when you take a picture or when you shoot a video so I use this to shoot a lot of vit, uh, fitness content on Instagram vertical videos and stuff like that vlogging videos for YouTube the videos that I shoot you know on YouTube mostly will be on the 16 millimeter because for example like I said it captures a lot within its frame and that's the most important thing with you know vlogging lenses and stuff like that so I don't use it as much for like close-ups you know portrait photos because on my Instagram page which you can also check out my fitness page there I take a lot of portrait photos you know of my fitness content which like I said I do basically you want to make sure that you're using you know certain lenses for certain different situations depending on what you're working with and for this one like I said it's best used in a vlogging situation you know wide landscape photography and stuff like that wider angle if you're looking for that then this is the lens for you if you want to know more more about it make sure to check out the link at the top of the screen right now okay now I'm going to talk about the 30 millimeter f1.4 the 30 millimeter f1.4 Sigma lens is another cool lens this lens right here is pretty much a mid-range angle lens so if you wanted you know a lot of portrait photographs then this lens is your go-to like I use this a lot on my Instagram page you know for taking uh, portrait photos you know close-ups not not really close-ups more like that in between range because if like I said if you if you're taking it with the 16 millimeter you're going to be getting a lot of uh, unwanted stuff in the entire frame some things you don't want in the frame you want more focus you know more clarity more crispness then you want this lens it focuses it gives you more detail you know the, the, the images are sharper everything is just better overall for um, close-ups with this and it's also good for b-rolls so I'm gonna switch out the 16 millimeter and put the 30 millimeter on right now so you guys can see what this one looks like as well if you're considering using it for vlogging or anything like that all right guys so I've got the 30 millimeter on right now this is a mid-range angle like I said I don't know if you guys have noticed right now it's gotten you know a lot more zoomed in this one costed about 300 I think it's the cheapest one in the series it's good like I said but it's only for mid-range if you're gonna be doing things like b-rolls you're gonna be shooting if you can only if you only want more close-up you know footage because some people like that kind of stuff for their fitness content or food videos if that's what you're going to be using it for because it's also great for shooting 
shooting, you know, food videos, like overhead food videos, you know, as well as, like I said, more close up, you know, fitness content or music videos, whatever you're going to be using it for, it doesn't matter. As long as it's close up, more mid range, then, you know, you want to use this lens. You're going to see in the outdoor test that I'm going to show you guys before the end of this video how this lens really works or how it looks outside. This one costed about $300, like I said. 30 millimeter and also an f1.4 so it's also great in low light conditions and this is like i said my favorite for portrait photos so like close-ups you know half shots let's talk about the final lens this 56 millimeter f1.4 so i like to call this the food vlogger's dream so this lens is great for getting details in small out of small objects you know taking close-ups of for example food if you're a food photographer then you'll love this lens for your canon m50 or if you just want to take product shots let's say you do reviews of products reviews of content then you want to get this lens the 56 millimeter this lens right here the 56 millimeter you can see it's also the smallest amongst the pack so if you want to know more about this lens make sure to check out the video at the top of the screen screen right now where I do a full review on it as well. This lens costs about 370 American dollars at the time of this video. So if you're going to be purchasing this lens or going to be using this lens, make sure to check out the link in the description as well as for the rest of the lenses, there will be a link in the description. It's all commissioned, so I would really appreciate it if you went through that link. Let me switch this on or switch this switch out the 30 millimeter for that lens to show you guys what it looks like if you are considering using it for vlogging content like this. As you can see right now, this this is not the lens for vlog and if you're considering using this lens to vlog that is a terrible idea to be honest with you I know you guys can see my big head on the screen right now and I, I don't know if you want your head all up on anybody's screen so to be honest with you guys this one's not the one for you know making vlogging content of any kind at all this is more like I said for food you know photography close up you know headshots stuff like that where you want to get as sharp of an image as you can and blur out the background as best as you can okay so that's basically it if you want to know more about this lens make sure to check out the video at the top of the screen or the link in the description okay I'm going to switch out this lens with the 16 millimeter that's my favorite lens for you know vlogging content and stuff and I cannot finish a video with my head you know this big all over the screen so I'm gonna switch these lenses out and continue the video so I've got the 16 millimeter back on. Like I said, this is my favorite for vlogging. You probably heard me say that the entire video, and I'm not kidding. This lens saved the Canon M50 because I used to use the 22 millimeter before that. I'm going to take you guys outside where I tested out these three lenses. Pretty nice location, so enjoy the view, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I've got the trifecta of the Sigma lenses in my hands right now. Right here is the 56 millimeter. The 30 millimeter is right here, and I've got the 16 millimeter finally right here. Well, I'm gonna be testing out different conditions, you know, using each lens. I'm outdoors, you know, there's a lot to be seen so we can really test out these lenses so I came out here to try out these lenses to see how much they can capture how much each one can capture in the frame when placed on a tripod standing at the same spot so I'm going to be standing at the same spot and, and switching between each of these lenses to see how much they can capture in their frame right now I've got the 22 millimeter on the Canon 22 millimeter uh, pancake lens it's it's an f2.0 lens if you don't know about that there's also a, a video comparison between that and the 16 millimeter on my channel so make sure to check that out as well I've got an ND filter on to you know because of the Sun it's kind of sharp so you gotta use an ND filter. If you don't know about that kind of stuff as well, let me know down in the comments section and I'll make a video on it. The sense for the camera right now is at ISO 200, aperture f3.5, and 1 over 50. Let's switch out these lenses and test out how these things operate or how well they function so you guys can decide which ones you're, you know, you, it's gonna work best for you. So let's get to it, man. So let's recap right quick. The first thing I talked about was the 16 millimeter. The 16 millimeter F1.4 costs 
about 380 to 400 American dollars at the time of this video. You know, it's great for vlogging content, get great for landscape, photography. You know, if you're trying to capture a lot more in the frame, then you want that lens. The next one I'm, I talked about was the 30 millimeter. So the next thing I talked about was the 30 millimeter f1.4. This one is more of a mid-range angle lens, you know, great for portrait pictures, you know, close-ups, you know, more b-roll kind of content. And this one is the cheapest amongst all three. And this one costs about 289 to 300 American dollars at the time of this video. It's in between when it comes to the weight compared to all three of them. This one is in between. The final but not the least, the 56 millimeter, which like I said is the food vlogger's dream. That lens costs about 370 American dollars at the time of this video. It's also the lightest lens amongst all three of them. If you're going to be purchasing any of these lenses, make sure to check down in the description below. I will have an affiliate link to each one of them if you're going to be buying any of them. So let me know down in the comments section as well if you know you're going to be using any of these lenses. If you have any questions about these lenses or if you end up purchasing any of these lenses, how they're treating you or if you already have any of them, let me know how they're working out for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. If you enjoy content like this, and would like to see some more, make sure to click on the video on the screen right now, and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's Midas, and I am out.